So the first day, because I had actually never been out of the country before, and so it was kind of exciting to go to Mexico. And just being in the plane, because I mean, we got out, I remember we were always like trying to guess when we were crossing the border and things like that, just because, you know, I never left the country before. But I remember as we approached the city, like you look out the airplane window and it's just this huge, huge city. Like, I mean, I've been to Los Angeles before, but I mean, it's just a little, it's even bigger than Los Angeles. I mean, it's just crazy. And just the, everything is just super, super chaotic and just hundreds of thousands of people in the airports. I mean, at first I was a little like scared because I mean, I've never been in that kind of a situation before and didn't really know what to expect. And then, you know, one thing that really helped was seeing the mission president, like just how excited he was and um, just him talking to us, just telling us that everything's going to be okay. That, you know, because I was really scared because I'd heard, you know, you always hear those scary stories that happen to, you know, people in other countries and stuff like that, especially in cities as big as Mexico City. So I, mean, I remember that and then I remember one thing that really helped was the you know, the assistants talking to us and the secretaries. They talked to us when we arrived and they, they talked to us in English and told us a little bit about the culture. I remember we got to try some of the food, which that was actually one of the things that really helped me because I mean, I was like I mentioned a little bit scared, but seeing the food there, just trying it, uh, really helped me to like be happier because it was just so delicious and to this day and still my favorite food ever from Mexico and so that was really good I think and then just having an interview with the mission president um, like what he said that he was he himself was still trying to learn a little bit of English because he was from Mexico and so I mean his English was really good but just him saying that really really helped me to kind of open up and He's like, you know, don't be afraid because he asked me one thing I was concerned with and I told him, well, I've never been out of the country. So, I mean, because I felt, I felt decently okay with the language, at least what I thought from the MTC. But, I mean, obviously when you get out in the field, it's, it's a whole different thing. But just having him there, having him talk to me about that, just telling me that, you know, yeah, the culture is going to be different. But one thing he told me, he's just like, don't worry about all that because all that stuff will it'll all just fall into place. He just told me to worry about, you know, studying, focus on studying and really remember my purpose as a missionary. And then he told me that the spirit would help me to adjust to the culture. And that if I didn't worry so much about, you know, being like scared of the people, of the culture, of my environment, that I'd be able to be a more effective missionary. So I think that really helped me throughout my mission to, to really remember that it didn't matter that, I mean, obviously I don't look like the people from Mexico, I mean, my, my accent was not very good. My skin color is different and everything. But just being able to remember my purpose as a missionary and focus on the doctrine, I think, really was what, what helped me a lot. And just from that moment, I, I felt a lot better about being in Mexico, even though, you know, it's a completely different world from here. So.